Hello, Grasshopper here with another video. I've been waiting for this all year. Um, I ran across, I came across some internet gold. So, uh, gold for me anyway. I was on X and someone had this uh, compilation of all the memes for 2023. So, I'd like to find one for 2022. I can't really remember all those. Um, and, um, and I don't even know how this got started. I don't know how this started to become a thing, but... <laughs> Here, here we are. So January was um, some uh, female police officer was basically having sex with all of her co-workers. Um, so yeah, so January was about her and there's... <laughs> it was pretty crazy. But anyway, a lot of jokes about that. <coughs> a lot of train jokes involved. Um, let's see. So February was um, the Chinese spy balloons. There was um, some sp a spy balloon or two that got seen flying across the United States. Um, probably my favorite joke from that era was they showed some like rednecks who um, <laughs> were looking up at the sky uh, and, uh, <laughs> and it was just like, you could tell it was rednecks because it was like, um, you know, just kind of trashy, like there was beer bottles on the lawn and just <laughs> some kinds of stuff. And there's some, some guy, um, uh, what do you call it, some guy out there just in his flip-flops and t-shirt and shorts or something and his wife just about wearing the same thing just both base both of them just looking uh not fit for public and they're just uh in there and it shows them staring up at the camera and and like throwing th things at it <laughs> so, and i think they i think they said like captured it like you know the the chinese spy balloon flying over alabama or something yeah it was <laughs> good stuff good stuff anyway then uh march we had um some banks collapsed and caused everybody to kind of freak out. Um, I guess that's all it was for March. I don't really remember that being... I, I was on the news, I guess. Anyway, let's move on. Um, April was um, Dylan Mulvaney um, doing Bud Light ads. That ticked a lot of people off. Um, yeah, that's... Uh, People have been mad about that all year. <laughs> People are still mad about that, and I, I, I can understand why. But and it's okay if you disagree with me. But um, yeah, so that was the thing. And in May is um, I don't know who that person is. Uh, I didn't really care much for it. Um, it but it went viral, and this was um, I don't know. Who, it was some chubby person who was supposed to be a woman and had like really high standards I think on this show like this person had high standards for what she they were looking for in a man and the internet just kind of ran with that and um <laughs> no opinion really for me I didn't I wasn't interested in it just was just kind of like eh. you know. <laughs> anyway June was um <coughs> that was a uh, Submarine that went down to see the Titanic and um, got crushed, I think. Um, so, that was, so that was an event. These are kind of like more like a big events than memes, I think, because I don't think we were really joking about it too much. It's kind of a sad that situation. Anyway, moving on. July was um, some woman on a plane was um, freaking out, and she she said, you know, she, she was saying that the person, like, in the that she was uh, had been sitting next to or something was not was not real. I don't. <laughs> it's so strange. I don't even know. But the, anyway, the video clip went viral. That was, I guess, you know, slow. Maybe there wasn't much news in July. <laughs> anyway, um, August. I guess we saw um, President Trump um, going to Georgia and uh, being indicted. I think, and then he got. And this was the mug shot and. The Democrats were, um, like, uh, what was it? The Democrats are trying to, they're, tr they're, they're trying to get Trump off the ballot, basically, I think. That's what seems to be what their strategy is. And so they're, um, trying to indict him any way they can. And, um, they're, they're scared of Trump, basically. They're, they're, they're terrified of Donald Trump. Let's just put it that way. They are just completely terrified of Donald Trump. Um, because he, um, he calls them out. He calls out their nonsense and their, uh, corruption. At any rate, and then it backfired on them. Like it, it backfired on them so, um, 
so much. I mean, it's just it did not go the way they wanted it, and um, it, it made that maybe more popular with like the black community, and uh, made him more popular. I mean, it, it kept him in the news and um, having the opposite effect uh, that, than what the Democrats wanted. And oh well, they're not. They're not the sharpest sometimes. I mean, a lot of times, I should say, Democrats, when it comes to political strategy stuff, they're not the sharpest tools in the shed. Um, let's see, so September, a jet fighter went missing, I think. I don't know much about it. Uh, I didn't really care. Um, October was, I guess they're showing the um, conflict between Israel and Hamas. Um, so but there's that. Then November, November was... That one, this one, that one's good. That's when uh, Elon Musk was on um, some uh, like panel where the where a bunch of CEOs meet meet up and talk, talk and discuss their companies, and he uh, he basically just um, told told all the, all of the advertisers like Disney that are pulling um, their ads off of X the X platform. The whole thing's silly, first off, okay? Because they're trying to say that Elon is anti an anti Semite, such nonsense. <laughs> and uh, and I'm kind of I kind of disappointed that Elon even like said that he felt like his um, post on X was um, foolish. Don't do that, Elon. They're not gonna res they, they don't respect they don't respect you and not and you never don't apologize to those people. They're not gonna appreciate it or anything. Just um, Stand your ground. I mean, you can't you can't argue with them. It's no point. Um, but you know, he, he was just trying to explain it the best he can. I, I get it, but it's it's just, um, yeah, it just does. It's not gonna work out the way I think he wants it to. He wants he's just trying to get along with everyone. But yeah, that's hard to do. It's hard to thread the needle, man. Um, let's see, December, and this was, I think this happened last week. It's like, it's pretty recent. And uh, we had a couple of uh, uh, guys um, um, having sex on the Senate hearing floor. Um, so that's 2023. What a crappy year. <laughs> that's all I can say. AI is the bright spot in 2023. I wish... I think there should be something about Chat GPT on there, uh, on one of those months. Uh, maybe that was in I don't know when that was April, March, when uh, op um, OpenAI released uh, Chat GPT 3.5. I'm not certain, but I, um, that was a, a good thing potentially in 2023. But all in all, pretty crappy year. <laughs> anyway, that's the that's the that's the memes of 2023. Thanks for watching, and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe.